afternoon everyone Sunday September the 8th today I have a friend who's a professor in medical science Dr. Shilio sitting near me uh, so inspired to talk about life as a whole we know from the Vedic philosophy claim that whole is more than collection of all parts. It means that all the cells come together and form a body, health, a whole, a wholeness is more than that. In other words, it's basically it's a wisdom, it's more than understanding. The grace of God or the grace of nature is more than parts come together. That's the, the interpretation or the definition of the word health. So we talk about health as a whole, a holistic health. What does that mean? That means you become simple, simple, simple. The more simple you become, the more individual you the more less individual you are. <laughs> and the true transcendental technique or meditation technique is when you become simpler, simplest. That means you lost your individuality. From that moment, you gain the total health immediately, automatically. So hell is Total hell is not something you can create, no. Total hell is something you can find or, or, push, or live. That moment is total hell. The junction point between two cells is the total hell. The junction point between unmanifest and manifest, that is total hell. That's why uh, there's one uh, Upanishad claim, Risho Akshare Parame Vyoman. This means the Risha or this impulse of nature in Ak. Ak means when the Ak collapses to Ga, it creates a, a point. Risho Akshare. But where is that? At the Parame Vyoman. Parame Vyoman is beyond space and time beyond your thinking, beyond your individual, beyond any cells. Risho Akshara Parame Vyoman Yasmin Deva Ativishre Nishidu That's where all the creative intelligence resides. That's where the cosmic administration lives and whisper among themselves how to manifest, how to rule the manifestation in order so that they accomplish the goal. Yasmin Deva Tivishvayanishin. Those who are not experiencing that, the Paramebhyoman, or in Thai we call Paramat, in uh, English we call Transcendental, in India they call Pavadidhyan, Pavadidhyan. So, like that, we need to educate the society, especially the children how to transcend, how to go beyond, how to realize its own simplicity, simplest and more simplest. Because the more you simple, the more you expand. When you're simple, you're quiet. You're nobody. When you're more when you're more simplest, you expand. And when you're most simplest, your expansion is unlimited. Then you're one with nature. And one bit nature we know. Our nature is gross value, subtle value, celestial value, and knowledge value. Like your body, we have senses, uh, the gross body, which is the senses, activity of the sense, and the subtle body, the feeling, and uh, celestial body is, is reality of power. The dynamic aspect is totally live in one's individual awareness. 
and knowledge body, that's what they are cosmic reality. So we come from that full level of that reality. And education basically is to re-educate us or reconnect us into all this full simultaneously. Not individual level, but simultaneously. In India, they talk about Astam Yoga, Astam Yoga. I mean, eight parts, or eight limbs of the yoga. Five, six thousand years ago, they realized life is have eight different limbs or eight, eight different function as a whole. And when that is lift, they call he's a yoga practitioner. He's a yoga. He's a yogi. But today is a different interpretation about life. So we have to start and learn how to go within to realize our own being, totality. The more we trust nature, just like a child, when he was born, he trusts his mother, then he's safe, he's protected. So the more we learn how to trust nature, the more we become strong and powerful. That's for that trust to be appreciated, you need to be simple, simplest, and more simplest, then you become one with the cosmic. Nirvana or Nippon is the most simplest uh, awareness of the individual. Then that total trust is gained by individual. His vision, his way of thinking, his life will be transformed into a life of a cosmic life. That's what uh, the purpose of education. To unfold education means to unfold what you have. Shiksha, I mean, to, to unfold totality of life, natures of life, is Shiksha's goal. So education today is having a different goal, which we know that we don't live the totality because we only been told how to live life on that partial, not holistic nature. Uh, until Mahashi Mahesh Yogi came 60, 70 years ago, we, we learned from him. His vision is so beyond, we became, a, he born all of us in the whole world to go beyond the individual awareness and gain this cosmic awareness. Okay, from now we want to thank you and we wish the Shyam Deva bless you all.